Alright, hello and welcome to the weekly gaming quick save show, recorded live at 3pm Pacific time, every Friday, right here on twitch.tv slash benreacts, that's me, I'm Ben, occasionally I will react, mostly I will not do that. This week's show I'm going to be talking about why I stopped kickstarting games, and anything else if anyone shows up and says anything to me, I don't know, who knows. First, let's take a look at some of the top stories of the week. And the first story, very important. Slow news, slow news, but very important story. I figured out I can make kind of a, a droid BB-8 beeping noise, so that's what I'm going to do. I, I think it's very accurate, very lifelike, very film film accurate. All right, here you go. Hold on. I don't do drugs, believe it or not. This is the thing I do, I just make beeping noises sometimes. Why not, right? In the actual video game news, uh, Fire Emblem Fates coming out soon, and they've censored a little bit of a scene here, and this scene actually caused somewhat of a kerfuffle when it uh, came out in Japan about six or so months ago. It's been out a while. Uh, the scene essentially involves a female party member who is attracted to other women and is having issues with that, as you might, might, you know, this is the real world. And so your, your player character gives her ma some kind of magic powder, which makes her see men as women and women as men. And yeah, that's a little weird. I'll give you that. That's a little weird. Maybe we should kind of rethink that. It sounds very anime to me. That that plot line is is you know episode six in the middle of a twelve episode season of of, of anime. You know, it's just kind of a filler episode here, um, which is interesting. I think this game was actually written by a acclaimed manga author, so maybe that's why it sounds like an anime. I'm not necessarily a fan when they start editing plotline or dialogue or anything like that, or, or well in this case removing, um, but I don't necessarily mind when you take things out, like Xenoblade Chronicles X, they got rid of, or not, they changed, they made the swimsuits um, less revealing for the 15 year old girl, <laughs> or 14, who knows, she was underage, uh, but it's still a little weird, it's just a swimsuit, it's still a little weird, but I can forgive stuff like I don't really care, I'm not dressing up my characters in swimsuits very often. But when you start editing cutscenes and, and dialogue and character interactions, that's a little iffy. This so far seems light on possible implications, which is good, but it remains to be seen. And this is probably a game I'm never going to play, so I'll never know the answer to if I should be upset or not, which is great. It's a great way to live your life, right? Never know what the hell is going on. In other Nintendo news, they revealed what the... Wolf Link Amiibo does in Twilight Princess HD, and it does not unlock a new dungeon. No, no, that'd be that'd be what you want, right? That would be exactly what you want. No, no, it unlocks a bunch of Wolf Link trial rooms, basically, maybe akin to the what is it, the the one in Wind Waker where you fall down the hole and there's like 30 floors, something probably along those lines. Uh, but who knows? And who cares? Because it's not an actual new dungeon. <laughs> But at least they're finally putting in somewhat interesting amiibo support. You can uh, put in Link to restore arrows, Zelda to restore hearts, Ganondorf to make the game harder. You know, enemies do double damage. That's interesting. These are interesting things. Not very important. Not actually that interesting <laughs> when I come down to it. But it's nice to see them doing something on a system that they're abandoning in probably a year. Less than a year, maybe. Maybe a little over a year, depending on the rumors, which too many rumors. Not going to deal with it. Too much work, so I like to say. It looks like too much work, just don't do it. In other news, uh, the Rock Band 1 set list can be exported into Rock Band 4. This struck me as very interesting news, because how the hell has this not happened before? The Rock Band 4 has been out for a quarter of a year, which is a weird way to measure time. But this wasn't there, and then I saw this chart, right? So this is, this is all the rock band games and all the ones that you can export. Now the Beatles rock band is right here. They're not going to allow you to do shit because they're the Beatles. I understand that. This is rock band 3. I'm, I'm reading these because you probably can't read the small font. Look at my finger try to find it. Me, me. So this is rock band 3. You can export this already. Great. That's what I'd expect. This is rock band blitz. 
You can export that one already. All of these are no's. These are all no's. So <laughs> Rock Band 1, you can finally do it, but only on PS4 and only in North America. Okay, Rock Band 2, nah. Lego Rock Band, nah. The ACDC one that I'm sure someone bought, no. So th there's all this there's all this stuff, and this was the promise of Rock Band 4, I thought, was let's bring everything together to the new consoles. And it seems like that was the plan, and they're executing this plan over the course of 12 months. And that's kind of ridiculous. Like, when I heard this news, like, oh, it's it's finally available Rock Band 1, I'm like, what the fuck? That's a, that's a day one, that's a month one thing. When Rock Band 2 came out, you could do this immediately, basically immediately with Rock Band 1. Same with Rock Band 3. And Rock Band 3 had the weakest set list of all of them, so, oh, great, I can put that into Rock Band 4. Oh, I love it. And then you have to download all those songs individually. This is, this is, I think, indicative of, of bad. And I, I saw this, you know, back in June, when I was looking at this game, I was like, this, this looks like Rock Band 3 stitched up, and they put a 4 on top of it. And, and that's what it seems to be, and it's falling apart. They've had tons of problems, and I don't really understand how. This is the fourth one they've released. They released the first two Guitar Heroes. What the hell are they doing over there? I know, this comes down to song licensing. It always comes down to song licensing. But communication would be nice. This is why I stick with the Guitar Hero Live, with its wacky six-button controller. Um, other sad news about rhythm games. I don't think either of those two sold very well. I really, uh, you're, you're starting to see a lot of sales. And, yeah. I don't think I don't think the music genre's back. <laughs> Unfortunately for me, big loser nerd idiot who wants rock band and guitar here to live forever. And with that, let's just get into the topics of the week. The one topic. It's fun to make beeping noises. One would say, please say. All right. Oh, motherfucker. Oh, I didn't break anything at all. Hey, I learned something today. Isn't that fun? Okay, I stopped kickstarting games. Um, what year is it? 2016? <laughs> The last game I kickstarted was Ukulele. We're going to go through these with actual examples of games I've kickstarted. These are games I kickstarted uh, some of these almost three years ago. None of these games are released. None of them. Let's just start at the beginning. Okay, Delver's Drop. It's at the bottom of the screen because why not? Why not have fun, right? Funded... 312 in March, almost three years ago. Now, I played a demo of this game about two years ago, and I was like, eh, whatever, I fund this. Who gives a shit? But I'm still interested because it still hasn't come out. And none of these things I've kickstarted, they all still communicate. It's not like they're just dead projects. So they're just stringing me along. Right. We're going to get back to that. We're, we're going to get on to that. Okay, okay. They made twice their goal. They expected the game to come out in October of that year, which is crazy and stupid. So you should have added a year onto that anyway, which means it's still over a year late. There's no release date in sight. They're doing constant updates of like, hey, here's this thing. Hey, here's this other thing. And I'm like, that's great. Is there an ETA on this? Because they're, they're, I mean, your Kickstarter page said 2013. 2013. This is ridiculous. This is out of control. These things, and we'll get into how uh, more of how I feel about this in a second. What is that disconnected from the socket? Great, my chat's broken. Cat. This game looks amazing. This game is amazing. I played the demo. I played it at E3. It's, it's a great, great game. Funded in May 2013. Just barely over their goal. Okay, fine. Supposed to come out. In four months from now, two years ago, still no actual release date in sight. This is one game that's probably going to pop up 
and it'll be released in a month. That I understand. But this this game, I played a demo of this when the Kickstarter was going on that felt like I could play a game of this like right now, polish it up for a year, okay, good, and give me the game. And I understand development's difficult. It is difficult, but don't lie to me. I don't like being lied to with all these Kickstarters. That's the deal. That's the problem I have with it. Is it, it feels like they're just saying, oh yeah, October 2014, I don't know. And I would like a little more thought put into it, and I would like a little more... These, these things are still updating me. I still get updates from them. And it's like, oh, we finalized the art style for this thing. We did, we added this in. And I'm like, yeah, you have an ETA this year? Is it going to happen this year? Because it's getting out of control. Now, I also, you'll notice all of these are in 2013 for the most part <laughs> when I kickstarted shit. I haven't done it since for the most part. Anne, or A-N-N-E, -N -N -E, if you want to be weird. Looks awesome. Look, this game looks so cool to me. They made more than their goal. Again, always doing that. Estimated release. Well, we're almost two years late from that. And we're going to be way more late because in the last backer update, which I think I just got this week. Oh, May 25th, 2017. That's, I mean, that's three years late, for one. But in addition to that, that's four years after I've heard about this game. It's so exhausting. I haven't even heard about the Zelda Wii U game for four fucking years. Uncharted 4, it's been maybe, maybe close to four years. This is a little indie game. It's too long. It's too long to hear about these things. This game looks fucking awesome, though. I will I'll give you that. I am totally down for Ant. It's this stuff, and it's these, it's like one guy doing it, so I don't really mind. But it's these things of like, I need some more transparency. And actually, in putting out the release date like that, I love that. Give me an estimate. I don't care that the estimate's a year and a half away. Give me an actual estimate of something because it's been years. It's been it's not like it's not like I'm being picky. Like you missed the release date, and a month later I'm complaining. I'm complaining two years later. I want fucking answers. That's it. I still paid you. I already paid you. That's the problem. Maybe that's the problem I have. I have all these free games. A hat in time. Oh, a hat in time. You made ten times your goal. And you got a bunch of stretch shit, which is great. Good for you. The game looks cool. But February? I remember February 2014, and I remember... They were like, oh, here's our alpha release. And I'm like, what the hell happened? Because the game took on this crazy scale. And they never once said, they never once said in any update, like, oh, hey, we're going to have to push this back. Like, they waited. They waited until, like, after it was after the date. And it was like, you guys know. You guys know. Why don't you publish an update? Why don't you tell us something? I'm not going to your fucking forums every day and being like, oh, we're doing this. No. I backed you on Kickstarter. I gave you money. I respect a response. I think I, I think I that warrants a response. Still no release date on this. Um, two years late. I don't care about that. Give me something. This game could still be another year out. And this is a game that that when the funding for this was announced, the idea of a ukulele happening furthest from my mind. Never gonna happen. We're never gonna see the golden age. Now we could get both of these games in the same year. Which is mind-boggling, and I love it. But, but come on. Talk to me, people. Talk to me. Soul Saga, this game is interesting. And for a while there, I was kind of like, why did I kickstart this? Aww. But now it's actually looking really cool. A really cool JRPG. It's taken a while. But, saying this year. It's a single guy. I'm fine, I'm fine with him. He raises over, almost triple the goal. Or, over triple. Triple numbers are hard. That release was crazy, and even at that time, I was like, that release isn't going to happen. But this year, that's great. This is great. I should not know about these games for three years. I can't I can't do it anymore, and that's why I'm not kickstarting anything. I can't do it. I can't have these, these games in my brain to which I forget about them for 18 months, and then I look at my Kickstarter page, and I go, oh, yeah, I did buy that when I was fucking in college or some shit. And, well, I was out of college, but it doesn't matter. It, this is so long ago. This is so long ago. I just don't anymore every 
an indie game should not be the division. It should not be Watch Dogs. I should not see it ad nauseum for years and years. And those games shouldn't be that either. La Mulana 2, I picked back this one. I love La, La Mulana, so I'll wait for another one. It was supposed to release right recently. Now they're saying it's probably this year. My estimate, estimate, that's grammar, probably next year still. It probably might be early, late this year, early next year. They just released, they got feedback from the alpha back. Another alpha, I, I don't know, I don't know. I don't know, but I'm, I'm super excited. And then we get to ukulele. The only game I've kickstarted recently, ukulele. Yeah, because that was 2014, 2013. They made a shit ton of money. And that's the other problem with these kickstarters is, oh, we want $90,000 to make this, this game. And I'm like, okay, but that doesn't seem like enough money for five people. In the same way that 175 mini euros or whatever, that's not enough money to make a Banjo Kazooie game then or now, even a remake of it. And they make 10 times their goal. Yeah, that's the actual price of the game. And, and that gets into the problem too. They're not, I don't think they're going to make their release on this. But I'm fine with that. And it just, it's, I mean, it's frustrating to me to see how, how, how can, much confusion there is over estimated price of things of the cost of these games to make and and how how I have yet to see any developer hit their target date once they've set it on Kickstarter. I'm sure some have and maybe they do, you know, maybe they do. I, I, that's short-sighted out of, you know, six Kickstarters. But when you miss a deadline by three years, you're not good at setting deadlines. I don't care if day one you said this was going to take you five years. That's fine. But you said it was going to take you one year. And then you went four years over, which is egregious. You can't do that in any other field. You can't, you can't do that. So I don't understand how, how you can so badly misestimate your own production uh, output and timelines and like, the idea that some of these games that have been delayed like four years, well, not really delayed, but delayed about four years, some of these games, like, you would have known six months after the Kickstarter, you would have known, like, oh shit, we're still a ways away. Why don't you tell us? Why don't you, like, I think they need to start allowing Kickstarter uh, users to update the Kickstarter system in terms of when this is expected to be released because it looks bad. It reflects poorly on you when it's like, oh yeah, the, the Hat in Time Kickstarter, oh, that game was cool. How much did they make on Kickstarter? And then you look at it and you're like, funded in, in when? And then I go back and forth. And then you look at it like, oh, it was supposed to come out in February of 2014. What the hell happened? And it doesn't, even with the best intentions, and I, the, these games all look pretty cool. That does not look good for you. And actually, on the fly, I'm going to look up Shovel Knight. The Kickstarter for Shovel Knight. Because that's one game that, had I seen it at the time, I would have kickstarted it. Let's see what Shovel Knight did. Because this is a this is an example of a successful game that came out on Kickstarter. And we're going to pull up the uh, Steam page, too. Don't you dare start playing. Stop. Okay, so it came out in June 2014. Now, this money on Kickstarter for, for Shovel Knight, I know it's just to finish the game. I know it's just to finish the game. Okay. Made a shit ton of their goal, man. Estimated delivery, September 2013. That's June. That says June right there. Of 2014. So even Kickstarter darling Shovel Knight cannot meet their goal. And as far as I understand, I am correct in that, that this was, oh my God. See, this is the other thing with Kickstarter. What is all this garbage everywhere? It's just shit all over the place. I, I, I don't know what's happening. Stop it. This is too much. This is all your page. 
I'm supposed to figure out information from this? Here you go. Blah, blah, blah. Blah, blah, blah. But it's not enough to finish the game. So they needed to finish the game. They were already making the game, obviously. Uh, who knows how much they had done, but they needed to finish the game. And they st even, even a project that you were finishing, they still couldn't estimate their own ability to of production. And then I wonder if that's more of a psychological thing. Um, and it comes back to how I feel about crunch time in the industry and that crunch is, for the most part, I understand crunch of two weeks, sure, uh, a month, sure. But when I hear stories of like, we've been crunching for months now, that's not good. That that reeks of like improper time management skills, but more likely, it's uh, publishers. Like you have to meet this date, and you're nowhere near that date. But if you've had six, if you've had, let's not even say six years. If you've had two years to make a game, why is it the last six months is when the most work is getting done? I understand prototyping. What are the artists doing all that time? What are the programmers doing all that time? Like, I understand a game comes together, and I'm in the unique position. I have programmed a game from scratch. I've done level design in, in Unity and Unreal and like the Fallout editor and shit like that. I know how these games get put together. How do you not know? Like, everyone is doing something on this team for two years, but somehow, Everyone has to polish everything in the last month. Something is fishy about that. Something is really, really fishy about that. And I don't, I'm not quite sure what it is, but I just don't buy it. I really don't buy it. Uh, there's something else going on. There's something else going on, and I don't think it's lazy devs necessarily. I think it's publishers pushing things and making weird decisions. Because there's prototyping, and then there's bug fixing, and there's all that shit. That's the last six months. And I understand that. That's why you have to crunch. That's why you have to crunch, because you're finding bugs and you're fixing things. No. Something doesn't add up. Something doesn't add up. Turn up voice volume? I've tried. Hold on. I'll see what this says. How low, how low is it? I'm like I'm like yell not yelling, but I'll have to look later and see how loud it is because I don't know. I can't fix it without restarting everything. Why does Twitch use these shitty colors that I can't read? If you're there, heretic zombie, tell me how low it is. I think I need to I need to change the mic setup because fucking nothing works. Nothing ever works. Like a whisper. <laughs> is this is this louder? Is this louder right here? Is it louder over here? It's probably really quiet when it's in my mouth. That's probably a good spot for it, right? In my mouth? No? Like a whisper. <laughs> I will have to fix this. But see, that's the thing, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep. Oh, it's all wet now because I licked it. That's the thing. Is it much louder? <laughs> like, but I can't put the mic. I, I could, I could put this like in my beard, but is that, is that's not really beneficial for anyone, is it? I don't think so. I don't think this is where it should go. Right? Is that? You can't really see it though. I'll hold it like this, like a really classy, uh, really classy person. 
Is that louder? Oh, I'm gonna test it, you know, because people keep saying that, and I'm not lot. I'm not disagreeing, but maybe my computer is loud, and I don't. That's what it is. Fucking stupid ass computer. Put it right here, like. Oh no, that would hurt. I'm gonna clip my lip. I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> oh my god. Twitch. I wonder if I do this. Hey, I'm clicking on you, you piece of shit. Oh, I'll tell you where Kickstarter is bad. Oh, I clipped this to my beard. Hold on. Ow! Kickstarter is bad because... I, no. <laughs> well, this is very seductive, idiot me. Uh, Kickstarter is bad. Okay. Because I'm tired of waiting like six years for these games to come out. That's why. It's, it's freaking ridiculous how I, I kickstart a game three years ago and they're like oh it's it's gonna come out a year from then and then six years go by and it's ridiculous shovel knight's not a good example though i was just looking that one up to see uh see what's up but <laughs> I, i'll do whatever the hell you want no shame my mic doesn't work for six months who gives a fuck let's just let's have fun where else can i clip things not there. I'm not clicking. I think I can. Because I don't want to hold this the whole time. There we go. The thing is, it's clipped. It's clipped. There we go. Hold on. Hold on. There we go. That's how you wear it. You can't even see it. Let me look at, let me look at the thing. You can't even see that it's in my, it's in my beard. I'm very classy. It's very, it's very professional. This is like the most professional thing you'll see all day. Um, and how oh, this really hurts. Uh, ow. Nostril would feel better than that. Hold on, it's got to be upside down. It's not a very strong clip. Like it's not made for noses. Pro well, probably not. I actually don't know if it is. Yeah, yeah, it fits. Oh, that looks like it's much louder. I can see on OBS that looks much louder, yeah. Okay, that hurts too. God. I should just get a snowball and stick it over here, because that would probably fucking work. You ever have a guess? No. There's no room for a guess. I have Link. He's a guest. Um, well, he's not a guest, because he's always here. So he's not a guest. He's he's a permanent member. Guests would be cool, but I don't like going outside or seeing sunlight, as you can tell. You probably can't tell how pale I am. Yeah, you can. You can tell. You can tell. Uh, <laughs> just looked at the picture. Yeah, you can tell. Jesus. Uh, no, that would require me to talk to people in the real world. And I don't want to do that. Or go outside. Or anything like that. No. No. I'm not ruling it out, though. I'd, I'd have guests if they were available. I'm going to try and fix my volume while we're here. Just chatting. Oh, Skype would, Skype's fine. I could make. I can probably make that work, but I can't get my own audio to work. I can get Skype to work, but not anything else. No. Heaven forbid. Heaven forbid a, a fucking... Oh, you idiot. Okay, that's... The settings won't be applied until the next time you... Well, fuck you. OBS. Piece of shit program. <laughs> I wonder, see, it's tied to my my video feed, and I was wondering if I uncoupled it. Oh, oh, what's this? Something worked finally. Six minutes after I clicked on it. Piece of garbage. Microphone, real tech, audio. No, that's not it. Default, just do default, man. I don't know. Hopefully, it doesn't. No, it doesn't work. Nothing works. 
look at let's look at art for Shovel Knight. That's what we're gonna do. Is that a bunch of dirt? I don't want dirt. Get out of here. Go back up. What does this button do? Let's see here. Feel free to ask me any questions about why I have so many toys for no reason. That's the answer. No reason. Just like toys. <laughs> Force auxiliary. Force microphone auxiliary to mono. I wonder if this just mic is quiet in general. I'm not famous or anything. Like I'm famous? Uh, if I was famous, I'd still have fucked up the audio. <laughs> I, I could be a millionaire, I'd still fuck up the audio. What do I want to talk about? Talk to me right now, I can't get you on Skype. Skype is, is worse. Oh. piece of shit Skype. I'm gonna get down to the bottom of this because I think it has to do with this over here. Click on this button. Output audio to stream only. Yeah. Okay. Can I turn that off? What the hell's going on? Oh, disable. Oh. I'm learning so much. I'm learning so much here. It's very important. How is this louder? The green bar doesn't get any greener. So I'll figure you out yet, piece of shit. Yeah, I like the idea of doing a talk show. I'm gonna lean really far back and like slump in my chair really low because I'm I failed. Um, uh, this is actually kind of comfortable. I like the idea of doing a talk show, and no one really does talk shows. I mean, there's like like three professional outlets that do live shows, and then there's a bunch of people on Twitch that probably do shows too. But I like the idea of doing a talk show. There's nothing going on though. There's straight up nothing going on at the beginning of the year. Uh, which is a problem when you're trying to, and I don't like to talk about news. I talk about news like for like five to seven minutes at the beginning, and then it's like uh, previews or reviews or something, but I'm not, there's nothing going on. I'm playing through Dark Souls 2 again for like the third time. There ain't shit going on. Uh, it's just, it doesn't even look like I'm slunched in the chair. It just looks like I suddenly lost my legs and I fell down. <laughs> it does. But I can barely read anything if you're saying anything. But yeah, I've always liked the idea of talk shows. I, well, why not? Why not do a show? Who the fuck cares? Right? Plus then I can say I made a, a live show. That sounds good. No one has to know it was terrible. Or that no one could hear me. I don't have to tell them that part. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Oh man, this table is really dusty. Oh man. Got my cord bundle. Boop. Maybe I should end the show. This should be the end of the show. Just slump in a chair, sadness. The sun's not in my eyes. I fixed that problem. One problem every six weeks. Thank you. My personality is called broken and sad, lonely, and uh, not depressed, though. Oddly enough, as for as much as I don't go outside, I don't really give a shit. Meh. 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 Uh, 
I like that. You said I, you said I could do well. Your show will do well. Lena learn how to read. I'm learning how to read. It's very slow. There's a lot of letters. I mean, there's like at least 20 of them. It's a lot of letters to learn. Um, nothing to be embarrassed by, though. Reading's hard. Uh, what was I? Where was I going with that? <laughs> Nowhere. That's the answer. Give me, give me a topic. I'll, I'll talk about whatever. What is over there? Hmm. Want to talk to Link? No, nah, I don't want to do that. I don't like playing with puppets. I don't like holding this mic either. What else I got over here? I got Shovel Knight. Oh, I didn't even think about that. I had Shovel Knight this whole time while I was talking about Shovel Knight. I'm a genius. Oh, Shovel Knight can hold the mic. Hey, Shovel Knight, how you doing? How you doing down there? How you doing? How you doing? This is the this is the episode where I have a nervous breakdown. Um, God, fucking so much hair everywhere. Long enough to tell good streamers from about bad streamers. Lol. What do you mean by lol? You think this is funny? Uh, do you have a Twitter? I do have a Twitter. Um, is my Twitter on my Twitch? No, it's not. Hold on, I'll link it so so there's no misspelly spelly spells. But it's TGF underscore Kirby link, which is I probably should change. I don't, I don't know, because I write for I write for the Game Fanatics um semi often. I don't. I mostly just retweet. It'd be really funny if my chat was like, it banned me for posting a link. That'd be something I'd do. Fuck myself over. <laughs> Accidentally. Window is minimized. OBS, you liar. It's just a big liar. That's what you are. Oh, it is minimized. Never mind. You're not a liar. Yeah. You're prepared to be bored. Following me... I you prepare for some retweets, I don't know. Oh, you probably can't hear that. It's my phone in the background buzzing from the bottle. Stop buzzing, phone. I do need to figure out this mic thing because you're not the first person. You're not. You're not the first person to say that. But you're not the not first person to not say that. Wait. Doesn't matter. Uh, several people have talked to me and not mentioned that. And some people have mentioned that. Um, I don't know what that means. Let me put Shovel Knight back over here. Uphold Shovel Justice with Amiibo in Shovel Knight. The irony of this figure is I bought the game on PC, so I can't even do anything with this. Bunch of garbage. Bunch of garbage. Plastic garbage. Plastic garbage. Plush garbage. That's it. There's only two materials to make toys. Those are facts. A lot, big facts. Let's see what else is on here. You want to see my cool Google Doc? Oh, you are looking at it. This is my very cool Google Doc I made. About Kickstarters that haven't come out yet. I think I know. See, okay. So if you actually want to know the nitty gritty, uh, with this webcam, I have synced in OBS. I have synced the microphone volume. Synced is the wrong word. I have put the microphone volume. Fuck. I have put the microphone with the webcam so that they're linked and it is one unit. And so that I don't have to deal with. Uh... Why did I do that? I don't know. So that I didn't have to deal with the audio the other way on. Um just a normal microphone input and then I wouldn't have to deal that's why I did it so I wouldn't have to deal with uh, if any lag or uh, desync happens I wouldn't have to deal with that but I'm wondering now if that's what's making it so quiet because OBS would be doing filters or something on the uh, on the actual input 
because everything I tried to do didn't really make it much louder. And I just clicked the mute button, so that's that's a good button to press, stupid. Hmm. I actually am going to start streaming more. Just games that annoy me. Well, not annoy me, but like Super Mario Maker. That torture of a game. But I can't change any of these mic settings um, while I'm streaming. What if I hit this button? Does that do anything? Does that do anything? I don't think it did anything. Did it do anything? No. The pro well, no, this mic just might be quiet, but why would it be quiet? Why would you wouldn't want a mic to be quiet? You'd want it to be loud, if anything. It was twenty dollars. Would you be done after the stream? <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's true. You know, that's actually a, a thing I didn't like the the range or whatever. Let me look at that. My mic doesn't smell bad or good, FYI. Well, that's the wrong button. Don't press that button. Okay, next next thing. Nope, that's not it. That's not it. Nope, nope, nope. So I have the I have the. Uh, I have auxiliary boost. See, I think what it is is I have I have the right settings, but not for when it's coupled with the webcam, and I think that's what the problem is, and that's what I'll have to to fix. Why is this so it's like so hard to read with the light? Yeah, I want it in English. Thanks, OBS. But it's so it's so much easier just to have it on my shirt though. Where it's supposed to be. I'll have, hmm. Yeah, I'll have to fix it. Thanks for helping, though. Tell me I'm quiet. Not the first time I've been said, hey, you're quiet. Usually people say that, and they're like, it was like in high school, and they're being mean about it. I'm like, you're really quiet. Did you say that to my face? I'm like, what the f Go away. I'm really quiet, because I don't want to talk to idiots like you. Why do you think I'm quiet? Get out of here, dumb people. Problem with hair is it gets in your eye all the time. Yeah, OBS is great. Um, it is not not friend not friend friend. If you hang out for a second, I'll stop it and restart it and see um, and change a couple things. Oh, now I'm constantly talking to no one, though. Constantly talking to no one. Not even you. This is a ghost. Ghost. Ooh, ghost stream. Ghost. Yeah, I generally don't talk to anyone unless I know them, which is probably not good. I'm talking to you, though. I don't... 
contradicted myself. Yeah, stick around for a minute. I'm gonna change a couple things and and uh, see if I can't either break it more or make it better. One of the two. <laughs> 